All right, let me uh, go over the problem a little bit. Okay, the first problem, actually, once you set this table up, the rest is pretty simple. Um, so here, we have a bunch of projects, 10 projects that uh, we can select from. And our objective is to maximize profit and we need to select from these 10 projects. 10, okay, whether do the project or not. So this is our binary variables. Okay. Now, depending upon the projects that we select, we will have revenue, and then we will have cost of training and cost of salaries. And, and that is based on how many programmers we have to hire and keep. Okay, so that's what is given. The data is given here. For each project, we need a certain number of programmers. Okay, so that's given here. Okay, for project one, we need 37 programmers. Project two, we need 57 programmers, and so on. Okay, and these two columns tell us during what time period we need these programmers. Like for project one. We need 37 programmers starting from the first year till the fourth year. The second project, we need 57 programmers starting from third year, uh, third year to the seventh year, and so on. So, if we select a particular project, then we have to make th that many programmers available for that duration. So that's where this table. Uh, the, the, uh, we need to set this table up based on that. So we have two conditions. We have, okay, and, and, uh, well, our horizon is 10 years. So we have two conditions, the start year and the end year. Okay. For a given project, if the year number is within these two, the start and the last year, then we have to make sure that that many programmers are made available. Okay, and that's why that, that's how we need to set this table up. And there are two conditions, as I said. One condition is whether the year number is greater than or equal to the first year, and the year number is less than or equal to last year. Okay. For example, if we are here, this is greater than or equal to year one. That is correct, but it is not less than or equal to four, so you won't require any programmers in that time period. So we need to check the year number with the first and the last year for that given project. So when we have two conditions in if, so the if function, the if function has condition and value if condition is true and value if condition is not true. So that is your syntax for if function. But only that this condition is, uh, we have two conditions. So when we have multiple conditions, what we need to do is we need to enter it in this fashion. So you start with a parenthesis and then you type the word and. And then you do condition one comma condition two and then the rest. So here of course you start with an if. So you start with if and then and condition one and condition two and then value if true. Comma value if false. So that's how you're, and I think you need two of those. This is how you should set up your if for the double condition. So if the year number, so year number should come from, okay, so you start with it. 
you say if okay then you go and okay and now you have to compare the year number so year number comes from here so you need to type this function in cell C26 so in C26 okay you would go if C25 okay okay C25 is what you're going to compare if C25 is greater than okay so here will be two conditions so C21 is greater than or equal to E7 so that's one condition comma the second condition is same C21 less than or equal to F7 so that's what the condition will look like and then if that is so if they are true if the two conditions are true okay then that cell C7 otherwise you don't need any um, programmers so if the condition is true the programmers we need comes from C7 okay otherwise it is zero okay so well I had a, an addition so you don't need that that parenthesis there okay so this is your condition double condition then now when you when you type that you need to make sure that you the cell addresses are properly absolute referenced so we need to make sure that when we copy down or copy across the cell references will come will be adjusted correctly okay so c21 c21 Okay, when you copy across, you should go from C21 to D21, D21 to E21. But when you copy down, C21 or D21 or whatever it may be, it should stay at C21. I'm sorry, not 21, 25, I made a mistake. It should be 25, where, is, where am I getting 21 from? It should be 25. Sorry about that. So 25, it should come from 25, so that's that row, okay, the row should be fixed, the column should not be fixed, so you need to press the F4 key and make the row absolute and the column relative, okay, and, and when you come here for E7 and F7, you see the column should be E7, F7 and C7. It is the column that is fixed. The first year is always from column E. The last year is always from column F. So column E, column F must be fixed. And column C also must be fixed for that C7. Okay. For C25, 25, row 25 must be fixed. And for column C7, E7 and F7, the column should be fixed. And if you copy that, that will transfer the number of programmers we need for each project properly in this table. So you need to get that done first. You need to get this table prepared from the first year and the last year for each of the years and then the project okay so let's get that done first